Hi everybody. Um, just back from a busy day. It was um, my uncle's service this morning. Um, and Paisley. So we had dropped the boys in. My sister decided not to go. So she kept riding my two boys for me. Then we came back and we sat in my mum's for a bit just to kind of lay there and cut all Jaden's hair. I was needing that, it was like bush. So he's staying at my mum's tonight and did off to Ear tomorrow for a holiday to the caravan. My sister, my niece and Jaden. Um, so it's just me, Ian and Jordan that's left. Um, got a few bits and bobs delivered today. Um, finally got my order from Crafty Devils Paper. Crafty Paper Devils. Something like that. Um, and I got my Pokey Board. And it's that side is centimetres and that side is inches. So it's 30 centimetres and 12 inches. And it's quite sturdy. Um, and I've got my scorer. It was 14.99. Bargain. So to be honest with you, I'm not actually too worried that I waited so long for it. Um, I then got my crocodile, and that was twenty four ninety nine. But I have been wanting it for absolutely ages and I'm hopeful that I'll be able to use it. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. I've got that. Um see. I got I got these and they're for my embossing powders because the ones that I use quite regularly they're a nightmare to try and unscrew and when you're busy it's much easier to just put the tub on and that's it done and they're much easier to get back into them so I got 20 of these and they're much easier to store as well than the circle ones which take up so much room so I got them and they were a pound a pack you can probably get them out of the pound shop but as you know it's not as easy for me to get into a pound shop I then got uh, oh, no. Scissors. Um, and it's just for more intricate cutting. I have my big scissors. I have the X cut ones in, I, don't know, I think they're probably the size up to that, maybe five and a half. Um, I also have the big X cut fabric scissors that I use but they're only for fabric so these ones are handy um, because everybody keeps doing my scissors they're driving me nuts so I'm going to put a ribbon around that one too so they can think that they can't use it I then got this paper vine and it was called Flight of Fancy 
and it's a Wild Wars digital one. And it was forty to nine. Um, and it's not a pad; it's a pack. Um, but we've got this piece of here. I think it's probably one, two, three of each. Get this one here. I like that it's quite string colours as well, they're quite nice, but not in your face right. That one there, I like that one. Same, but it's the uh, green. I love this one. Really soft muted colours. Flutter by. Back this. I really like that one as well. So that's that. I then got, oh, I got them as well, and it's the uh, small UTC cards and the envelopes. I quite like them. I've been making quite a few UTCs recently, so that'll be handy. I then got these delivered this morning. I've had my eyes on these for ages, but they were the lowest I could find them was twelve ninety nine each without postage. Um, and to be fair, I wasn't willing to pay that amount for them, so I was on Crafty Sellers, which is a Facebook group for fashion really and there was a girl selling them for eight pounds each but I messaged her probably quite cheekily and asked her if um, I got the six if she do me a deal and she said the best she could do was forty five posted. Yep, fine by me. That was nearly five off each so. So I got the Perilesque and that's got Pearl Blue, Pearl Green, Pearl Lilac, Pearl Red, Pearl Gold and Oyster and the colours are just beautiful. I'm going to open them up anyway because they're not staying in there. They'll go in with my um, perfect pedals. But that's what the pedal thing is. Just lovely. And then I got oh, my whole gate attack. Right. I then got these ones, which is Autumn Brilliance, and it's Harvest Soul, Spanish Moss, Desert Clay, Rosebud, 
raspberry wine, mystique and golden nugget. And the colours are just, I don't know if you see the colours here. It's quite a blue there actually. They're just superb. Spanish moss. Like a raspberry wine. You see the shimmers coming off the top of it. Have so. Yeah, that'll be lovely. It's a, a two blue green colour. Then we've got Shades of You, Rose Petal, Pink Cloud, Mocha Rose, Sam Dollar. Almond beige and cafe latte, and they're all quite muted colours. I can't wait to bog off. It's me morning about sunshine for a change. These ones are basic rainbow, hot cinnamon, sunflower, ocean wave, ginger peach, mallard, and snapdragon. And you'll see the colours there, they're just really nice, vibrant colours. That green at the bottom, I'm imagining that's my Yeah, it's, that's really green. Um, this one here is Passion, Wine and Roses, Bamboo Heaven. Hunter Grey, Bolivian Blue, Cinnamon Stick and Spice Pumpkin and those are all quite nice colours as well um, that one, although it looks as though there's nothing in it it's actually the way it's been set it's, um, Because it's a pan, it just kind of comes out. That one's Space Pumpkin. Mm. I'm delighted, absolutely delighted. And these ones, these are my favourite, I think. And these are Think Pink, Hopeful Honeysuckle, Courageous, Dreams of Bloom, Love You Pink, Lucky Apple, and Good News. And look at them. And the Shimmer and Watercolour Paint, that's what they are. And for anybody who's not used them. I have actually ordered, now what's the name of it, I want to see if I can find it because they were, do do um, okay. That's it there, it's Yasutomo 
pedalescent watercolour set and it's 21 colours. And the reason I bought it is there's a woman on Facebook, uh, Facebook. There's a woman on YouTube and she's called The Frugal Crafter and it's Lindsay something. Can't even pronounce her second name. But she's very, very hyper eccentric. But her crafting is fab. If you can get by the hyperness, she's mega talented. Um, she does watercolour. She does paper crafts. She does knitting, crocheting, um, bead making, jewellery making. She is an all rounder. Um, and she done a tutorial fortnight three weeks ago and it was like the um, now I'm going to try and remember the name of it Cloyson yeah Cloyson and it was like the years and years and years ago they used to use it with like the the lead and then they used to add what looked like stained glass but only it was solid and you couldn't obviously see through it um, and she done this on a jewellery box and it looked amazing. And she used the Yasutomo pearlescent paints. And I bought them because they were nine ninety nine or fifteen ninety nine I paid for them. Thirteen forty five with free delivery. And I thought 21 colours, plenty of space for working round about, that's fine. And I also have my Perfect Petals, which I hate using for watercolour painting, because you use so much powder for it. And I had been looking at these for probably over a year, if I'm honest. And I kept talking myself out of buying them, because of the price. But when those went up at that price, I thought, they're mine. Um, so, uh, I'm going to have a, a good plate. I've got Calvine D and Amanda's parcels getting picked up tomorrow. Um, I'm going to try and aim. Jaden's away now for a week. So, I'm hoping to have a couple of days crafting over the weekend. Tomorrow I want to try and make um, something for Black Cat Crafts for her challenge. And I even need to go and watch the video of it because... When I was stuck in a rut and thought I had so much to do, I didn't even want to watch challenges because I knew I couldn't take part. So I kind of stepped back a bit and didn't go forward to do anything with it. So I'm going to watch that tonight hopefully and I will get something put together for the tomorrow. I also want to put something together for Trees of Cars because we had done the Freddy the TC spot that didn't really go anywhere. But um, Trees has sent me hers and I'll host the goodies. So I want to also return the favour to Trees. I have also to do something for Wendy who is Lolly Dolly Crafts. So I have, I'm getting there. Um, I'm just working my way through my list. And I'm getting there. Um, but I'm enjoying it again. Um, and it's making a difference. So I want to try and make a couple of these rosettes. Now that I've got my hoogie. 
it's got to be dead easy to do. I mean, they're all scored there for you. Two sheets of that, and you're done. Um, and the same on the other side, it's centimetres. Measuring is going to be an absolute doddle. So I'm absolutely delighted with that. And I can then, if I need to, um, actually do my own papers for it by taking A4 paper, maybe stamping some floral backgrounds on it, and then painting it with some of these. I mean, this is Dreams Bloom, and it's stunning. Um, I mean that's love you pink and that's kind of a raw pink <laughs> but the sheen of it is just beautiful and if you were putting a wee touch of that on it's going to go quite far this is courageous rose and again it's the sheen on it is superb um, I'm honestly, I'm so excited. This is lucky apple. I mean, the green in it as well. I mean, that's almost neon green. Good news green. This is more of um an emerald green. Tamarock green type thing. And this one is Hopeful honeysuckle. Oh, that's lovely. Look at that. But I'm honestly delighted. Um, and you can use these my whole stubbies. Um, if I remember rightly, you can use these on fabrics and stuff as well. I'm going to watch a few tutorials on it because. I'm uh, all excited. Um, it's just fab. Uh, I'm so chuffed. Um, and it's also something I had bought as well. Because I'm going to be on holiday, I was taking my niece with me. And today, I was told my niece doesn't want to come anymore. A friend of my sister is getting married on the 10th of July and Mirren has decided that she would rather go to the wedding than go on holiday. So we are going to be left with an eight year old on his own with no one to entertain him as such. Obviously we will take him to the beach and there's a lot of beautiful beaches in Inishon. Um very quiet. Um some of them are quite um rural and they're perfect for me anyway for the way I feel at times. They're ideal. I mean there was a place that we went to with my parents last year and it was up next to what's they call it it's next to the famine village and I can't remember Do Doa Famine Village and it's up a wee path and it is literally a grip path. It's not even a road and we sat out in the grass there looking over the Atlantic and it was so peaceful. I think two cars passed and one person walked by with a dog and we were there for maybe a good three, four hours just sitting in the grass having a blather and having, I mean look, Ian used to pack a, a glass of coffee in the morning and having my dad and they would just have a blather. It was so peaceful. So doing things like that with them Taking the football up, just kicking the ball because it was a quite a fair bit of grass area. 
Ethiopian is Ehm um, But obviously that'll be Ian that'll be playing football with them and um <clears throat> Sab will be able to just sit and cover and draw and relax. Um so I had bought rather than take my tins of watercolour pencils, there won't have a carry bag with it that you can zip in extra. So I ordered the bag and it had two extra bags with a uh, two extra extensions with it. And I think it cost me it wasn't as good as I thought it would have been. Um I was twenty pounds bag, but it's um going to be able to hold my two sets of pencils, my ink pen and my watercolours. Also it will hold um two or three water brushes I think I could space for. Um and also some normal pencils for drawing. But I can also take these as well because these can be used in conjunction with it. Um, and because they're quite hard as long as you let them dry before putting the lid back on, they'll last for ages. And I mean I can leave these in the house and touch them up at night and I'm not going to take up loads and loads of them. So I'm really chuffed with that. I think it's going to be great. Um, and I'm, I'm really excited uh, to have something to do while I'm away that's not going to um, make me stressed. Um, I find these do relax me a lot. Being able to paint and I'm by no means the world's best painter. A hundred percent, nobody even near it. Um, but I enjoy it. And that's the difference. I don't care if I'm, not, I'm any good at it. I would love to say I'm Van Gogh. Or my favourite is Claude Monet. But I'm not. But if I enjoy it, then I'm going to keep doing it. I don't care if I'm not any good. Um, but then what you love into it. So I'm gonna make the most of it. Uh, so yep. I'm gonna have a go at that jewelry box that Wendy had shown the other day. I am also going to over the weekend I will also do a quickish tutorial on how to do the wooden box effect that I done on my dad's altered box. It's really easy to do um, but very very effective. I actually gave it to my dad today and he was stunned. He's, he, I mean he was saying he says if you went into an antique store and saw that you wouldn't know until you opened it that it was only a cardboard box and that's what you're looking for. Uh, so that's my intention from my weekend and in between all that I've got a million washings to do because um, I'm going to try and get the boys bedrooms cleaned totally but Jordan's going to help with that so um, I think that's it apart from obviously generic things like I have got grip seal bags and I got Paper bags. What else came? No, I that was that. Yeah. But as I said, I'm really happy with what I got. Um, and I can't wait to go and have a play. But I am absolutely knackered now. It's been a long day. I've been out the house from. We left, P we left B's this morning at 11 o'clock, but I've been up from 8 because I had to wash my hair and my hair isn't exactly the shortest thing in the world. I mean, that's... 
my head is quite a good length. <laughs> so it takes a while to wash and dry. Um, so uh, I had been up doing that really early and then having to pack a suitcase for Jaden because he's staying at my mum's tonight to go tomorrow and then last minute things it's oh has he got this oh I forgot to put in that um, so things like that I had done so I'm going to just put these all downstairs away out the road my craft table is horrific because I had been trying to package everything and finish projects, everything is just scattered over my table. Honestly, it must be about that deep of rubbish. It's not really rubbish, but paintbrushes. Um, I've got a bottle of gesso out, a bottle of water PVA, I've got a bottle of Mod Podge, I've got a bottle of Decapatch. Decapatch. I'm really liking it's not as tacky as Mod Podge when it's dried. Um, but time will tell. I will still use Mod Podge probably because I've just ordered a big huge tub of it. But I can mix between both. Um, anyway, I'm going to go and get into my PJs and chill out because it has been such a long day. So take care and I will be back on over the weekend hopefully with the tutorial for the wooden box although it is very similar technique to what Fiona showed. I only used slightly different in the Base that I think Fiona dried her gesso first. If she used gesso, I can't remember. But Fiona does have a very similar technique. That was where I learned the technique from. I just adapted it to what I wanted it to be. Um, and set colours obviously make a difference in what you're doing. Anyway, take care for now and I will speak to you all later. Bye.